The truth behind these myths might just take you by surprise. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Myths. In today's installment, we're counting down the top 5 myths about Ninja. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the popular myths associated with one of history's most misunderstood groups, Ninja. Come Ninjas, let's go! Number 5, they were called Ninjas. I'm a ninja! Yo, my laugh is like a video game, my main thing when I'm in the zone! One player, one laugh in the mark, I'm with a dog! Go Ninja! Ninjas first appeared in Japan in the 14th century, and their functions included infiltration, espionage, and assassinations. However, at the time, they were a group of individuals without a name. It was only until the 15th century that these covert agents were dubbed Shinobi no Momo, with Shinobi meaning to steal, and Momo meaning person. The popularization of Shinobi was thanks in part to the Sengoku period, a time of civil unrest in feudal Japan that saw many Shinobi being hired for their unique skill sets. So where does the word ninja come from? Well, the written character for Shinobi sounds an awful lot like Ninja, which over time evolved into Ninja. Alright, Ninja Master. Number 4, Throwing Stars were projectile weapons. We've seen this trope played out on film hundreds of times. A ninja warrior approaches an enemy camp from the shadows and sees a soldier in the distance. Instead of risking detection, the ninja takes out a throwing star and kills the enemy combatant from afar. There's only one problem, it probably never happened in real life. The ninja of old used shuriken, or throwing stars, as secondary weapons in close combat situations. If a ninja was ever to throw a shuriken, it was probably as a means of distraction and not as a badass way of killing an enemy. So in the movies you see all oh, one shot, one kill, no. It was more of a distraction, so. Number three, only men could be ninja. Let's get out of here. This one might come as a surprise to many, but it's true. Historically, there have been both male and female ninjas. They've been seriously underrepresented in modern pop culture, particularly wherever Hollywood cinema is concerned, but back in the day, female ninjas were effective and highly sought after covert agents. Their gender was actually an asset. For starters, they almost always had the element of surprise on their side, as enemy soldiers often mistook them for civilians. Additionally, they were also known to use their powers of seduction to gain access to exclusive or heavily protected locations. In her very first move, Mindy bends her spine backwards at 70 degrees extension. A normal person can barely achieve 30 degrees extension. Number two, ninjas wore masks. What's your ninja name, Kenny? <laughs> Quick, picture a ninja in your mind. Chances are your mental ninja is dressed entirely in black with a mask that covers everything except for the eyes. Good job, except that's not what real ninja look like. Ninjas never had a specific uniform. Instead, they dressed according to the situation. If they were attempting to infiltrate a temple, then they would don a religious garb. If it was a rural setting, they'd dress as a farmer. A modern ninja serving as somebody's bodyguard would most likely be dressed in modern clothes, such as a suit. Nothing stands out quite like a person dressed head to toe in black. Number 1, Ninjas Could Vanish Well duh, isn't that Ninja Training 101? Well, actually ninjas used a host of different practical effects to achieve what has been exaggerated into some sort of mythical disappearing act. We've already mentioned how throwing stars were used as a means of distraction, but it was far from the only trick they had up their sleeves. Ninjutsu employs explosive powders. As weapons? Or distractions. Theatricality and deception are powerful agents. You must become more than just a man in the mind of your opponent. Ninjas employed a wide variety of diversion tactics in order to escape tricky situations, such as smoke bombs or, quite simply, throwing sand. For ninjas, being able to escape without being followed was essential to their craft. Magic is easy, disappearing when you're a mere mortal on the other hand, that's impressive. Ninja understands that invisibility is a matter of patience and agility. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.